Hey guys, Dave back again. Just doing an unboxing of uh, the Helix Director. And what it's going with is the Helix DSP Ultra. Alright, so we'll go with the Ultra first here. Uh, I researched DSPs for oh geez months and months and months and months actually years probably a year and a bit since last year and uh, this is the one I decided to go with so your instruction manual the usual you got your USB cord no big deal mounting screws I think it was actually tiny. I was looking at it today. Smaller than I thought it was going to be. Pack this back up again. I'll do that. So. Actually, not that heavy either. I'm not going to open it up. You, you guys can see other videos of people open up. I'm, this is getting installed tomorrow, so I don't really want to mess around with it. So there you go. That's the Helix DSP Ultra. Uh, you got your inputs. You got the coaxial input, optical input. One of the things I'm not sure, and I've read the manual, I don't know if you can use both the coaxial input and the optical input at the same time. Which, if you can't, it kind of sucks because I got an Amp Pro that's going to go in here, optical input. And I also, it took me like a week to find one, but I found a 17 foot coax cable um, out of Ontario, actually. Uh, you don't even want to know how hard it was to try to find uh, a coax digital cable these days. Uh, it was pretty difficult. Lots of people make them with uh, what is it, the RG59 cables, but uh, to try to find one that already has the ends and everything on it was very difficult. So that's that's your inputs on there, right? You got eight uh, analog inputs: the coax uh, digital input and the optical input, and then of course your uh, your high to low or your high. Uh, inputs and then on the back we got the 12 uh, outputs right and then your USB and uh, your control for your uh, director and all that fun stuff made in Germany there you go so that's it guys uh, you can see all the stats just go to um, Helix Brax um, the Audio Tech Fisher uh, website you can plot all the all the stats for this thing uh, basically it was I was looking for a, a DSP that's really flexible like I said in my other video I was actually gonna get a, an all-in-one uh, an all-in-one like save you a little bit of money but what happens if something goes on it right then you lose your amp and your and your DSP right if you got to send it back or something like that um, at least if something happens to this you still have your amps and then you can they can use it. You're not going to be out of uh, music completely if something happens to it. But the build quality on these things are pretty amazing. But like with anything electronics, you just never know what's going to happen. So that's it. That's the DSP Ultra. Um, honestly, I don't think you can really get be a, a better DSP than this. Um, zap code. The new zap codes or the newer newer zap code models are pretty nice. Um, other than that, I don't think anything really touches it. I think jail jail's decent. Uh, the amps, uh, you know, the VXI amplifier GS slash DSP are pretty decent. Um, and that's, I was actually looking at that too when I was looking at an all-in-one solution. So an all-in-one solution, yeah, they're great. Um, but if you're looking for separates and you're looking for a little bit uh, higher signal to noise ratio, um, this is definitely it. It's 111. Uh, your signal noise ratio is 111 for analog input and 117 for your digital. Like I said, the only one thing I don't know about this, and I couldn't find it anywhere, um, if you could run both optical and your coax digital at once. Um, I don't know. It, doesn't, it says a little bit about that, but it's not 100% concrete in the manual. 
Um, cause if you can't, it's going to kind of suck cause that's what I planned on doing. I got three chords basically. So I had all options. I got an auxiliary, uh, uh, not auxiliary, but, uh, well, auxiliary input. I've got an analog connection and then I got, uh, the coax cable and then I actually got the Tosh link cable too as well. The optical cable that was going to run in, uh, off the amp roll. But we don't know if that's actually going to work now. But I'm going to hook it up anyways, regardless, just so that it's there, just in case. All right, nice guys. Have a good day.